Hello, parents of English learner students. Welcome to the fourth ELAC meeting of the 2019-2020 school year. We thank you for your participation in this meeting held in exceptional circumstances due to the health contingency we are experiencing. At this meeting, we will be presenting you with information about the services available to English learners that we provide in our district, as well as important data to better understand students' academic performance and improvement. We hope this information is useful to you to better understand the excellent work that teachers, coaches, and administrators do in our schools to support English learners. The content of this presentation is divided into three main sections. District commitments and goals for English learners, current district data of our English learner students, and investments we are making in district schools for English learners. In Fresno Unified, we have a strong belief that all students can learn at the highest levels to prepare them for college and career. To achieve this goal, we work collaboratively and collectively, focusing on results evidenced by student learning. We use these results to help us determine the effectiveness of our professional practices and improve them when and where necessary. We also use these results to respond with interventions or enrichment according to students' needs. We have a system-wide approach to educating the whole child. We focus on developing good first teaching, which are the effective tier one practices. We implement research-based practices to help students at all levels of need through a multi-tiered system of supports, the MTSS framework where we identify students needing extra support and intervene early and quickly. We also include the social, social emotional competencies in our lessons. That is what is meant by effective instruction. That is what is meant by educating the whole child. Therefore, our two primary goals for our English learners are as follows. Every child can and must learn at grade level and beyond. Every English learner can and must be redesignated on time. To achieve these goals, we need the collaboration of you, the parents, considering that the education of children is a shared responsibility. Beginning in 2018, the California Department of Education transitioned from CELT to LPAC, the assessment used to measure the language development progress of English learners. Unlike CELT, LPAC offers two separate assessments. The first of these is the initial assessment that is administered to students who are assessed for the first time when enrolled in any given school in the state of California and is based on the answers provided in the home language survey, thus identifying if they are English learners or if they have the initial fluency in English. On the other hand, the summative exam is administered annually beginning in February of each year to students who have previously be been identified as English learners. The results are used as one of the necessary criteria to obtain the redesignation. Please note that for this year, during the school closure for the pandemic, we have been temporarily unable to do initial assessments and did not complete the summative assessment for the 2019-2020 school year. We are making plans to address this pending guidance from the California Department of Education. On this slide, we can see the LPAC performance of English learner students during the last school year, 2018-2019. Below, we can see the percentages and numbers of English learners by level. 17% or 2,146 students scored at level one. 36.3% or 4,528 students scored at level two. 36.5% or 4,566 students scored at level three. And 9.9% or 1,229 students scored at level four. The results 
of this school year's performance will be available over the summer and we will present them at the first ELAC meeting for the 2020-2021 school year. This slide provides the opportunity to see how many long-term English learners, LTELs, graduate by year. This is particularly important because we can see that every year more EL students classified as long-term graduate from high school in Fresno Unified and aren't dropping out. Even though it appears that the graduation rate of LTELs has decreased each year, fewer students are dropping out. For instance, 13.7% dropped out in 2014-2015 and only 8.3% dropped out in 2018-2019. This may indicate that the apparent decrease in graduation rates from Fresno Unified is because students are moving before graduation to other districts or charter schools. The goal in the language development of any English learner is the acquisition of English language fluency proficiency through redesignation. After CDE changed from CELT to LPAC in 2018, our district has experienced growth of one language level reaching 29.4% in the last school year, considering the changes experienced in the instruments used to measure the growth of language development. The decrease in rates from 2017-2018 is attributed to a shift from SALT to LPAC, new cut points on LPAC, and a new local assessment, iReady. We are hoping to have the results from this school year available in late summer and or early fall. Our district is working with specially selected schools called lab schools to try new research-based teaching methods to support English learners. The learning that occurs at lab schools is used at all schools in Fresno Unified. There are two ways teachers provide instruction to our English learners through Integrated English Language Development Instruction, or Integrated ELD, and Designated English Language Development Instruction, or Designated ELD. Integrated ELD occurs when teachers plan instruction focused on content standards, together with the ELD standards. Through Integrated ELD instruction, the teacher supports the development of English by teaching content such as ELA, math, science, or social science with support in teaching the language needed to understand the content. In designated ELD instruction, teachers plan instruction focused on the ELD standards together with the content standards. In designated ELD instruction, the focus is primarily on teaching the language first and using content ideas to support language development. The overall impact is that the language needs of students are addressed throughout the instructional day in all content areas. In all instances, teachers prepare culturally responsive lessons that address both the linguistic and cultural needs of their students. Some of Fresno Unified's most important investments include the dual immersion programs offered at 12 elementary schools and two secondary schools, with three more schools added next year, and the Hmong Heritage classes offered at all comprehensive high schools, including Duncan. By 2030, half of all K-12 students participate in programs leading to proficiency in two or more languages. The number of students who receive the State Seal of Biliteracy will more than triple in 2030. By 2040, three out of every four graduating seniors will earn the Seal of Biliteracy. The number of dual language immersion programs will quadruple by 2030 and the number of new bilingual teachers will more than double from 2017 to 2030. 
the Multilingual Multicultural English Learner Services Department sponsors summer learning programs that offer academic English, academic math, and enrichment opportunities for all students. We are also offering Spanish literacy for K third grade, English language development classes for th grades third through fifth, Hmong language heritage for grades one through four, English for newcomers for both secondary and elementary students, and academic English support for long-term English learners, LTELs, and mathematics for seventh and eighth grade students. We also offer intervention programs at 25 elementary schools for K first and some second grade students needing extra support with foundational skills after school. And third through sixth grade students needing extra support in an area identified by each site. This concludes the fourth ELAC meeting of the 2019-2020 school year. If you need more information, want to express your opinion, or have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us at 559-457-3928. Thank you, and we wish you a safe and happy end of 2019-2020 school year.